right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by the Hooper, Daniel Pineda. Who could forget the TKO of Julian Rosa? Certainly, if there has been one knock on Alex Caceres when he has gotten to the elite fights, he can Chikadze, Yair Rodriguez. He has been one step short. But this is a five-tool player. He's a hard guy to mimic in training. He's a little bit unorthodox. Tremendous appetite for mixed martial arts knowledge. Has his own guard. Eats cleanly. And that has allowed him to realize great career success and longevity here in the UFC. So much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Herb Dean, our fight? referee for this round. All right, here's the Ultimate Fighter veteran, Alex Caceres, as this round gets underway. He's not all that far removed from a five-fight winning streak that vaulted him firmly into UFC featherweight title contention, but he's not resting on the body of work. He believes this matchup gives him a lot of opportunities to showcase his clinch game, his grappling, and even some of his long-range striking weapons as well. So, Alex Caceres, safe to say, in a statement-making move here tonight. That'll crumble you. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Caceres gets touched by that kick to the body. Big shot lands for both guys. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, big body kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Lifts and rips. Oh, doing work with the jab. Here's the kick blocked by Caceres. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Caceres gets hit by that kick to the body. Big left hook coming. 
Just over two minutes to go. Connects with a beautiful jab. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. One minute here to go round one. Lands a jab. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Oh, spinning elbow right to the dome. He's able to get his hands up to block that one. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Takedown defense holds up. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Caceres gets caught by the straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Caceres' forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, big elbow. Points out for the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Caceres is bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited and what he can do in his approach, because safety has to be first now. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Both fighters throwing heat now. Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Caceres gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, nice counter jab there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. He's got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing is to do what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great point. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, 
work, guys. Big Come power on. shot there. Oh, and a head kick there. Both guys appeared to land there. Try to establish that jab. Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Sides here. Beautiful punch to the body. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. The one two punch is true. Got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Viserys' eye is starting to swell shut. Rips the body there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And... It burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Nice move back there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He has to change it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Oh, nice hook. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Big right hook coming. It's oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh! Back to his feet. Ooh, 
big shot lands. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the stroke. Oh. Yeah, he looks really wobbly on his feet. He's brutalizing the defense. He's right it's close to being done. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. And there it is. Caceres is attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Now he's going full mount. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Caceres. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Trying to establish that jab once again. Two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful right hook counter. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Clipped him with the right hand there. And another one. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in. Oh, that is it! He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.